Hi everybody and welcome to a Quarantine League 5B um, and we're following the English chess players so we're let's... We're not actually in quarantine anymore really are we? I suppose not, I suppose not. It's Le I think they just call it Liga but that, that doesn't sound as um, memorable as Quarantine League. Uh, so Liga 5B um, and here we go. Uh, this we've got a very small team at the moment, so we'll have to see. Small but select. Exactly. Only so we've got the best allowed. Ah, five players. We have Wood Pusher, who we haven't seen for a little while. We have it's so good to see him. Uh, Wolf Sonia, Henny Penny, KH Swampy, and Ocelot. And I think one more because it's six over there. So let's just see who else has joined. Um, and also GRL seventy seven. Right Spooky. now, we're going to see whether Giganto Bear is going to turn up. Maybe she will. A regular of our last uh, of our last uh, uh, events, and uh, quite a few more. Ah, the English players—they're turning up now. It's all looking yep. good. So well, okay. quite a strong so one against saying... Five A. Uh, Sorry, it's quite a strong one, Five A. Yes, it towards is. the top. Yeah, we're, we're oh, oh, look, we're up to third place now. Uh, oh, Safe New Records has joined, that's fantastic. Um, that's Iron. Uh, so we have Mike Harris, isn't it? Wood Pusher, um, GRL, Iron, we have, we have Wilsonia, well, Henny Penny, KH, Swampy, Della Quarter, and Ocelot. So we have, um, Yay, eight players, top eight score counts, so that's very good. And actually, it's started, so let's, uh, Let's see Wood Pusher. Playing FM oh, DBM. First round you play the you play some of the uh, your own strength basically. It's always a first round. Um, yeah, this uh, C3 uh, C3 system is quite well uh, quite well known. So uh, uh, very unusual though for White to take on C6 like that. Moi, um, maybe consider going. That's great. All right. To have that, the pawn right. taking towards the center and getting a good center there. Indeed. So uh, okay, so why is probably going to try and go B three? I suppose try and get rid of that C four pawn at some stage. Um, ooh, tempting uh, Black to play Bishop A three, which is uh, a little bit risky. You don't really do it normally, but uh, um, wouldn't be totally crazy. But. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, a bit of a cagey game, really. So, um, yeah, White could. Well, is White going to play d3 here? I really would have gone for uh, for something like b3, I have to say. He's gone for d4. So, I think, uh, well, Black's just going to take and go. Uh, Black will be able to. Bishop a6, maybe. Well, maybe a5 uh, would have been my choice. But, uh, I mean, you can go. Um, you'll be able to go a5, c5. Should be pretty decent for um, for uh, for black. This uh, yeah. quite a little bit awkward here. Maybe go b4 here. Try and get uh, try and make sure that uh, that um, yeah. White's well, playing quite cautiously here, really. I mean, black's just uh, a little bit better, really. The white oh. for Griffsvold Schackverein. I didn't notice if they were one of the top teams or not. Hello, Gigantabear. Kingsburg. Ah! Um, is this, do you mean? I did, a, I did a stream by mistake last night to here. It should have gone to a different channel. But I was commentating on the mind sports. They asked me right at the last minute. Um, and so I ended up commentating on um, the final of the Dominion battle. Um, so I hope people enjoyed that, if you saw it by mistake. A draw, a draw. Excellent. So they go uh, get to play some other games. Okay, we are in third place at the moment. Let's check in on uh, GRL 77. So playing again a, a player not too far off his strength. And uh, playing uh, Blitz Koenig. So Black's pawn up. White's got some uh, play for uh, for the pawn. Solid centre. 
uh, chances for a kingside attack. That's got to be a little bit... Uh, indeed, wouldn't it be great if Geary was playing for us? But his rating would be a little bit higher, probably, uh, Gigante. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, knight a7. So, yeah, I mean, Black's, Black's trying to avoid castling for now and just... Uh, just um, trying to harass the queen, get it away from d3. Um, I suppose really what you'd want with white is maybe to play knight d2, something like this, and then go queen g3 afterwards. And Yeah, uh, you really better not castle, because it's like mating one if you do. Well, at the moment it is indeed. Now you could. But it would be dangerous, I would think. Could be dangerous, yeah. Who's done it? It's um, well. I mean, White's still somewhere away from uh, from the attack. You could have played maybe a few more useful moves, maybe uh, a queen c seven or something like that. Uh, now, but uh, yeah, you can still uh, still do it. But White's going to go knight g four. It's uh, I mean, even if it's not um, winning, I uh, this concept in practice, it's still um, still somewhat uh, irritating. In uh, um, yeah, still somewhat ir irritating. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, but you've got to watch out for even stuff like queen f3 and then threaten uh, something like knight f6 check. Just uh, can be very hard to avoid uh, perpetuals. I mean, queen f3 also threatens bishop takes h6, which would be very dangerous. Rook a2 is a bit of an odd move. Not quite sure what the um, idea could be of that. Um, yeah, trying to think. Come over to the king side somehow. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, a little bit odd. Uh, so knight b5 probably wouldn't be so silly or uh um rook takes oh. okay that's um yeah it's a rather caveman approach but um after rook takes c4 you want to go queen d3 and, what about uh, i would go maybe d take c4 that's possible we go queen e4 then and you better not still better try not to get mated that would be that would be ideal if you could avoid that indeed um yeah i mean it's quite dangerous actually uh i, I think i would have preferred rook c4 somehow but uh so I, then after queen d3 i go to like g6 i'll have rook d4 or something but uh okay so I, I'm, I'm assuming that um um we will probably go something like um what are we going to do here bishop h6 in getting mated is indeed has never proved to be a healthy choice it's always a bad idea yeah i mean bishop h6 is not so silly here um queen takes d4 we could go knight f6 and then something like queen f3 or something i don't know that's quite dangerous but um uh yeah queen d4 queen f3 queen d4. Yeah, that's queen actually all right yeah Queen f3 now, maybe. Uh, it's quite dangerous. I'm, I'm not... Uh, ooh, we've got knight h6 takes f7 now. So yeah. uh, that is not... Good That's even anymore. more dangerous this way, isn't it? Yeah, this is... Uh, unfortunately, mate, it's going to be mate on g7. I mean, you could go uh, king, g, king f7, uh, queen g6, king f8. That is possible. But, I mean, there's moves like queen h6 check. We'll have rook e4 coming in. So I think it's probably going to be losing for uh, oh thank you for the raid mr dodgy yay mr dodgy i um i did some publicity for mr dodgy because uh, i got a i got a, um a mail saying uh, that uh, mr dodgy was live and i said it was just like the apocalypse only with dodgy chess games oh so um i'm sure that led to a huge increase in viewers yeah, well, he's raiding with 17, so that's... that's Yay! Awesome. Oh, and uh, Guitar Man should be there, too. Ah. Hello, How do Guitar you know? Man. <laughs> the best kind of publicity. Thank you, Mr. Dodgy Chess. <laughs> it's... Uh, oh, was Hi, that meant? Wilson, yeah. That was actually... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we've uh, we've jinxed... Uh, um, for, for non-regular followers of this stream, we basically jinx the English players all the time. We go and watch them. Then something yeah. goes wrong. So well, they're um, in the lead at the moment. They are so, in the lead at the moment. So we've got a bit been on safe new record. Who is berserking against wow. Rudinator? Well, good lord, it's a five minute this time. So yes. uh, quite a long time. You can berserk. Um, and you've still got two and a half minutes, so it's not too bad. 
indeed. Oh, bishop b5. Um, uh, that's not normal. Normally you do that against lines where black takes with the g pawn on f6. This is a little bit, uh, um, a little bit strange. Dodgy. Dodgy is the word you're looking for. Indeed. Dodgy is what we want. So queen a5 check. Was that a good move? <laughs> good idea, it. Giganta Bear. We've got to crash Lee chess to, so that we win. Stop the count. Stop mm -hmm. the count right now. So uh, I'm not sure about queen a5. Normally you do stuff like rook a5 or something just to uh, to attack the knight on b5 and get out of the way. But this looks quite uh, sort of vaguely reasonable. It's all a bit risky, though. I mean, b4 is, uh, is a pretty decent move for white here now because you can't go queen b5 because I've got knight c7 check. Hi, a Peza. Uh, Thank you for the hey, rain one. <laughs> good to see you. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Exactly. Are you a fan of Bruce Forsyth? Me? Uh, well, I went on a TV program with him called You oh. Bet, where I had to guess uh, uh, positions from... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I've got that. So... Uh, Bruce Sadler. So um yeah, no, he was very he was very sweet actually. It was mm -hmm. uh, it was very, very uh very, very nice indeed. Oh, was he the host? He was the host, yeah. It was, remember it, was, that. yeah. it was the first it was the first ever episode of You Bet. So uh, uh, and, uh and it was a bit uh, my parents said to me that uh, so you know that they had uh, what do they have on there? It was all things that you had to crazy things you had to do. There were um people, uh bricklayers who said they could lay they could um, uh, make a wall in under three minutes, um, which didn't look very convincing, I have to say, that wall. Uh, there was um, a group of Czech um, lunatics who said they could change the wheels of a car whilst they were driving it. Um, so, you know, they were going on two wheels and uh, and doing that. And then there was me uh, um, recognising uh, any position from uh, from Bobby Fisher's, uh, from the games Bobby Fisher had played. So Kenny, Kenny Everett, you, he didn't, Kenny Everett said, all done in the best possible taste. Ah, that's indeed, that's what he used to say. So, um, no, nah, that was, uh, that was quite fun. I was, what was I, 13, 14 at the time? So, uh, it was, it was a bit nerve wracking though. Yeah. I always remember, always remember that, um, so you had, um, uh, to come on to the to the program, you stood behind the door, and then all of a sudden the door whoom went open, and then there you were in the studio with you know there were about uh, probably about 150 people uh, as a studio audience and all the cameras and everything. It was, oh, quite, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was quite frightening at the time. Um, so whilst we've been uh, talking, we've been trying not to jinx Ian, but this is looking a little bit uh, risky. Um, yeah. Is that pawn on e6 goes? I think. Um, yeah, or even, I mean, queen e8 check followed by doubling on the b file is quite uh, nasty as well. Um, yeah, I mean, queen e8 check and rook b5 maybe still. Um, or rook b3 simply. It's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a tougher rooney really to try and develop. A Pezza, you can see it um, on. It's on. It's the B side, isn't it, of the um, Master Game? If you go for the old Master Game series, this is a really good one with um, like Nigel Short and Ray Keane and um, Big Rich and I think and uh, Tony Miles as well. And, and that guy, the guy, oh my queen, the, he's attacking my queen. Oh my god, um, who was that? Guy? Quinteros. Miguel Quinteros. Quinteros. Yeah, it's a very good um, episode and. Um, and then on that you get a bonus, you get that um, program <laughs> as well. So, uh, so you can get yeah. that from. I think I guess you can get it from Chess and Bridge. Yeah, there might even be some stuff on YouTube. I don't know. No, 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 no. But that's not you bet. That's the lowdown you're talking about. That oh, was that sorry, program. I got the wrong yeah, program. That, yeah, that was the program that they did. Um, uh, uh, with well, you want to watch that too? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure you want to watch that one really. Oh, you you <laughs> can see me. Uh, um, playing, uh, um, cutting through the defence in a school in a, a schoolboy rugby game. That mm -hmm. uh, you, you can see that, but um, but yeah, now, I'm not sure about you, Bet. Whether it's on, uh, it might be on YouTube somewhere. But um, I uh, I used to have a video of it, but uh, well, a VHS of it. But it's been um, obviously uh, um, yeah. somehow there hasn't been a clamour. I think to for people to <laughs> to see that again. <laughs> so. It's uh now safe new records king doesn't look that safe, I have to say. 
No, I think you've you've hit the nail on the head there. I think um, it's a bit going to be a toughie this one. Somewhere you've got to just got to try and hide somewhere. Yeah, G six is good to cover yeah. F five. Oh, G seven might have gone to G five, but because um, Rook F eight, he's going to give a Queen A one check. Um, so um, uh, all right, Queen F four. Yeah, I think White's not one hundred percent sure what to do there, but uh, he's going to take on F eight now with the Rook. I think. Or even take on H. Okay, mm. you've, got to, you've got to give it to White. White's playing very well here. He's a twenty-four oh two, so um, yeah, uh, he's actually higher rated than um, than uh, Rook F seven is mate, by the way. Yeah. One okay. Day. So let's see. Ah, we are now in second. Let's see David Wilson, who is on a streak. Indeed. I've got a special song for Will Sonia when we go and watch him. So, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, ha, 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 I'm not going to tell you. I mean, uh, you're going to have to to wait and hear it, of course. But uh, it's um, let's have a look. F6. Oh, actually, his opponent is berserked. Twenty-seven, seven, berserking against a, a twenty-two fifty-five. More songs, more songs. It's a gigantic. <laughs> Um, I do have to point out that you are in the enormous minority, I think. So um, it's uh, the only thing is, is that we've got a couple of people who've, who have just come from Mr. Dodgy's channel. So they are sort of hardened to uh, um, to uh, all sorts of strange things happening. But even they might struggle a bit with uh, hearing me sing. So uh, do you sing in Mr. Dodgy's channel? No, I just uh, I talked to Guitar Man actually, and Mr. Dodgy on Mr. Dodgy's channel because Guitar Man is a um, is a mod on uh, Mr. Dodgy's channel. Yeah. So um, and we watch Mr. Dodgy playing tournaments. Yes. And getting a lot of very bad positions, but then winning quite a few of them. So uh, very exciting. So yeah, um, I, I, Black's just doing a good a good job here, really. I mean, you're just keeping things going. I mean, in principle, White Black's position is a little bit loose here. I mean, pawns on b6, c5. Yeah, this move b4. But um, but if you look at the time, then um, you know, I mean, Black's doing very nicely. B5. I might have taken on b4, and after knight b6, gone gone rook d8. But uh, um, yeah, I can go c takes b4. To be honest, it doesn't really matter anymore because the, the time is so good. We go rook e4 now. And this is looking very nice. And you're just, yeah, you're just always gonna gonna make this with black. Your king's very safe. Got a very nice position. So um yeah, that's the danger of berserking. Yeah, the master game was excellent, wasn't it? The less the lasso. It was uh, it was a very good program. We did I did something a little bit similar later. There was something called the James Capel. Um, masters or something, and I played John Spielman, but it wasn't. <coughs> you had to uh, comment on and uh, comment on the games later, go through it with your opponent. But it wasn't. Uh, oh, yeah. It wasn't quite like uh, the master game where you're, you know, pretending to to voice your thoughts during the game. You know, that was yeah. really uh, that was quite unique. <coughs> uh, Blacks, uh, White's done very well here. Uh, you know, looking um, looking to be a little bit. Uh, um, a little bit better actually, but um, uh, but simply the time is going to kill. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. We're not repeating, are we? I feel we are. We've avoided it. <sighs> that was risky. So, um, yeah, rook b1, lovely, king f7 or something, doesn't really matter. Make the moves, make the moves. So uh, we're just going to come into come into e6, coming into d5. Ah. So uh, six seconds left. Yeah, I just never going to make it. King f7 now would be a good move just to because there's uh, no increment today. It's five minutes, but no increment. So exactly. Uh, so these five seconds will go, and then and then black will win. Three. Oh. Should be careful always. I don't know. I always go for the line that doesn't exchange off pawns, really. But um, uh, this is all good enough. Okay, well, well done, Wilson. Unjinxable. That's what we're going to call Ooh, him. Back into the lead. We have. Let's just see Atomrod. Hey, Atomrod is there. Ah, no, let's see. Ah, yeah. Gigante there. No, let's see. Wilsonia. No, 
No, Let the, the song will have to wait. Might, oh, that's Wood Pusher is playing, but we've seen Wood Pusher. We'll see that. Penny Penny. Penny Penny, let's see. Go, Penny Penny. He's had some excellent results against uh, against uh, very strong players. So, Gigantabear, move six. Yep. Oh, I'm going to try a Coca-Cola Zero. Okay, why not? It's uh, completely against all my principles. They're quite nice. But my mum bought it by mistake, so um, um, yeah. I'm uh, going to try and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, this is... Checkmate, isn't it? <gasps> we jinxed Tony Penny. No! No, uh, Gigantabear, you should actually... Um, <laughs> you should then you eat technology... Um, I suppose probably Wilson. You're probably it's um, uh, yeah. No, Giganta Bear. Um, I do feel nowadays you should start by looking at the sidelines when you play it, when you learn a new line. Just have one, have a couple of model games in the main lines, but concentrate on the sidelines because that's what you're going to get. Nobody's going to going to uh, going to do anything. <laughs> Maybe an over the board long play they will, but in in this sort of chess, absolutely not. So knowing the sidelines is the key. It's um, Coca so would you you'd play uh, you'd um advise people to play differently online is that any time limit or just the fast chess uh no it's it's not that it's just that people do that's what i mean and <clears throat> giganto bear says that um um mm. oh sorry giganto bear that was terrible advice then but i was <laughs> I, I was saying that um uh, in general you know online people don't play main lines they play sidelines so it's much more important to, to know those properly in when if you're trying to learn a new system rather yeah. than the main lines, you know. Does that apply whatever the speed limit, do you think? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I only ever look at three and five minutes on, online. So, mm. uh, you know, it's, uh, oh, the Slav and everyone plays the exchange. Ah, yeah, but uh, Giganta Bear, that, the, the exchange, that's the, the, the one you've got to get comfortable with. Everything else in the Slav is fine. But you've got to get, uh, if you're going to be successful with the Slav, you've got to get comfortable with the exchange. But you've got lots of lines, right? Because um, you know you can do stuff with early knight h fives. You can do stuff with g six. Stuff with uh, you've got to uh, duck and weave. You've got to have uh, three or four different systems against the uh, the exchange Slav, so that people never quite know what to expect, and you keep it nice and fresh for yourself as well. So where's so this we'll... Wilsonia song? No, I was just I was I was just going to go. I was just going to go. Da, 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 it is Wilsonia. Da, 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 it is Wilsonia. Da, 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 Wilsonia. Just on the theme of the Thunderbirds. That's all. So, ah, the Thunderbirds. Oh, but that's that's uh, that's decent. Um, nice e three. That the bishop f five sack. You go bishop d seven after they take on b seven, and after queen b three, you go rook b eight and then e five. It's a pretty good gambit. Although I do have some pretty good analysis against it as white, I have to say. But um, um, but it's a it's a pretty decent gambit with uh, with black. So um, but yeah, learn those sidelines, Giganto Bear. Yeah, Bishop D seven is quite important. Rook C eight will get you into trouble indeed. So um, um, now the big question is here: is has will King D six? <laughs> eaten, eaten toast. Because I think he must have done. Because after King G six, he's almost trapping the rook. And yeah. He did not do that without toast. So probably B six is quite uh, decent here. B six played. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I mean, Black's got decent compensation for the. Uh, for the uh, for the pawn there, even if you uh, were to get you know get the knight for the dark square bishop, it would still be all right for black. So uh, should be quite comfortable. And it's the sort of thing that you can um, that you can um, uh, yeah you can easily win with black. You know if white just plays a bit passively, then uh, those two bishops can really start motoring. I played lots of uh, pawn sacks like that for the two bishops in my time. So. Um, Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping with Will Sonia that this uh, Coke Zero is going to make me artificially intelligent. <laughs> but the Slavs are nice opening. You've got lots of uh, 
yeah, lots of nice ideas in it, and uh, and certainly the uh, the old five A four and then six E three lines. I, I scored very heavily with black in those. Really enjoyed playing them as well. So, um, do you still play them now? I uh, haven't played them for ages, actually. I, I, I kind of, uh, some reason, started playing the Nimzo Indian. Um, mm. But, um, yeah, I, I played them as a professional a lot. And uh, now, oh, Wilsonia, that's a piece, Wilsonia, <laughs> in many different ways. Ah, Wilsonia. All right, we've safely jinxed Wilsonia. He's, he's, got a, he's got a minute up on the clock to kind of win that. Oh, no, okay. he's resigned. Okay. Oh, right. Wilson, yeah. Let's see. Ah, it, Gigantifier is not. It, it, couldn't have been, it couldn't have been singing, could it? That, um, that, okay, uh, Atom Rod. Keith Arkell is uh, white here against um, El Hal Halsnalon. And what it is. pronounced. E4 from Keith, my goodness. And yeah. Bishop C4 sacking the pawn. My goodness me. What this is... is completely different from Keith. My goodness, C6. Being some theory. D5, indeed. I assume it's theory. No, of course not. <laughs> so, um, uh, so he's got, strange enough, as white a position he normally plays with black. So, um, uh, rook AD1, queen C7. So it's a slight advantage for white. Nothing too terrible for black, in all fairness. Um, but, um, but yeah. Well done, Gigantibear. Somebody didn't make a move for 20 seconds. That is important. But you hypnotized them, Gigantibear. That's probably what it is. They, were, they, felt, they felt the power. And they, um, uh, they didn't want to move. Yeah, Keith's not going to swap off Queen, so that would be. Oh, the Bishop C five check's going to be a touch. Uh, this isn't. Queen. This isn't Keith, is it? It must be someone else calling themselves Atom Rod. The Bishop C five playing a different is... opening, and then he declined an exchange of queens. Bishop C five check is really awkward here, followed by Queen H four. It's not really what you want. This is an imposter. Could be. Oh, I still think that G three was necessary there. Because uh, bishop c5 check. Oh, okay. Uh, this is uh, okay. So uh, now it's time to consolidate. It's going to be quite tricky to uh, to make this though. C4 is quite decent for uh, for uh, black here. Also, there's no rooks left on the board. Ah, queen b6. Queen b6. <gasps> I don't think this is Keith playing. I honestly don't. <laughs> well, if this is the power of our jinxing, then. <laughs> You've got to give it to us. We've got that some voodoo we've got. Yeah. So, um, right. Yeah, let's move to another game. Um, we'll cross our fingers that Keith uh, manages to uh, to do that one. Okay. My chess, 51. My chess, 51 against Tatiana. So what's my chess done? He's played must have played some sort of uh, reverse hippo or something, or uh, some sort of uh, strange reverse Grunfeld or Retty. Um, so got the two bishops, uh, but black's very solid. Uh, nice center, nicely centralized pieces. So uh, it's about uh, it's about even really. I guess I'd probably rather be black uh, just in this position, but um, it's not uh, not very much. Yeah. So what is white going to do here? Queen f3. Okay, we'll probably go knight e4, I guess. Or bishop e5 is probably uh, uh, even better. Swap off those uh, those uh, bishops and uh, now I just got a little bit of a some maybe some queen side weaknesses we can aim at later on the dark squares. So um, looks like uh, my chess has played Tatiana twice before. Yes, and not one one yet. So it is now my chess's turn. Exactly. It's like Vitas Gerolitis said. Nobody when he when he finally won against Jimmy Connors, nobody beats Vitas Gerolitis sixteen times in a row. <laughs> um, rookie two. So okay, White's well, gonna line up there. 
Um, so I mean, black. Yeah, I mean, h5 uh, feels like a, a very natural way to play for uh, for black here, just to uh, to ask the question uh, for white. You know, what are you going to do with your pawns? Knight e4 is also quite uh, quite a reasonable move there. Now, I would probably have tried to keep that uh, that bishop. That's the only bit of um, just for a while, anyway. At any rate, you know, because you can always choose to uh, to swap it off. Um, It just, yeah. just looks fairly balanced to me now. Indeed. It's, um, I guess if anyone's a, a bit better, then probably black's a bit better. But uh, also the time situation is, is quite nice. But with a five-minute game, of course, uh, you know, it's uh, there's, there's a lot of time. A lot of time there. England chess players still uh, at the top, but being Very pursued good. by... Um, I mean, there's uh, one, two, three, four... Uh, five teams within ten points, so okay. uh, it's going to be a going to be a tight one. So, as usual, the top three teams go up. It's all decided this evening. The top three teams go up to Division Four. The bottom three teams go down to Division Six, and uh, the others stay in Division Five. And um, last time, I think. On Sunday, the English chess players were playing and came fourth, so we're very close to getting promoted. Ooh. Okay, yeah, Black's really refusing to play uh, a move like h5, for example, but I, I definitely think at some stage you've got to, or g6. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. now. Some stage you've got to do it. King's in you for 25 years. Yeah, Gigante Bear. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very good to play different stuff. I think you really uh, the only way also to uh, to play properly against an opening is to play it yourself, and then you uh, then you you finally grasp a little bit what's annoying about it, what's awkward about it, you know, rather than getting impressed about uh, all the time by what the opponent does. Um, G H. It's looking a little bit dangerous for White now. Uh, rookie six yeah. is, uh, is actually quite awkward. You could also just take on e four, couldn't you? You could take on e4 and go queen g4 check as well. That would also be uh, be quite good. Yeah, matter of taste, really, I think. So, uh, yeah, no, this is this is looking quite difficult now for uh, for White. And uh, well, time situation is not too crucial, but uh, but it can it can mount up really. You know, that's always the uh, the thing. Um, queen h4. Now I've got to watch out for a little queen e1 check. So. You probably yeah. need to do something like okay. Oh, that's really passive though. Now we're going to take on e4. Quite a nice game from uh, from Black, really. Quite uh, you know, just uh, gradually just uh, pushing White back there, and uh... yeah, this is looking okay. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Mm, oh, I'm not sure about that. It's uh, that's a big past e pawn, really. So. Uh, Oh, right. Well, like e3 now. For example, followed by rook e6 is probably quite dangerous. Or even a move like queen g4, maybe, you know, just, uh, um, you know, just uh, preparing uh, e3 would be quite, uh, quite dangerous here. So, uh, yeah, this is looking quite tricky for white now. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I'd probably go rook e6, I think. Maybe just try and keep that uh, pawn. Um, what you'd really love is to do, you know, move your queen over to the a8 h1 diagonal, but it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's not quite so clear. If you go queen h5, mm. there's rook e3, queen d5, there's queen f3. So you go rook h6 first. Yeah, that's not, uh, we'll probably go queen f3, I think. Then just try and pick up your pawn on e3. So, uh, mm. um, yeah, I mean, you can go rook e6 there. That should be fine. I'm trying to think whether this uh, would be nice that there were, if there was something uh, a little bit better, but uh, yeah. Yeah, probably maybe pushing this e3 pawn was just a little bit too, uh, too quick there, but um, they're still uh, obviously. Extremely good for black here. 
so um it's very hard yeah very hard for uh for white really to um to do anything sensible because the, the king's so weak that's quite a good idea though at least to play um h3 and king h2 so uh oh queen d5 Queen's off. take it yeah that's a little bit less clear really because we're just going king f3 now i think you should probably go a5 here to tie down that pawn oh okay we'll go b4 i can go yeah. d4 then right my chest you're right back in it so take it yeah and uh, rookie three um so what we want to do now is to go um okay yeah, rookie seven. check rookie seven black will go rook a4 but then we go f5 that's not too bad oh. okay. now we take there and rook a4 we take on f7 okay okay is this can we draw this one uh we can now certainly with a uh with uh the rook like that yeah we should just be drawing this now well we just Whoa, wait. oh my chest we just, that was looking pretty we, grim uh, yeah, we just wait with it we should just wait with the rook i wait on a6 yeah just keep the um stop the king from getting active that's the thing yeah uh it could be yeah mm, but be careful with these because now we're getting rook a2 and king in um, oh yes this good lord oh this this is looking uh, it's really dangerous now doesn't it yeah no it's you've got to keep the king passive no need to move the rook like that now we go a3 so um oh hard luck my chest fall back really well and then um uh, just uh yeah i suppose with the shortage of time there it was just always going to be difficult but uh, All right. well, back. hard luck we've oh, uh, have yeah. we seen a have we seen a, a, a win an english win actually or have we only just jinxed everyone? Oh, no, uh, yeah, 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 we have. But I couldn't remember to tell you which one. Um, I the losses, actually. That's, uh... so, let's look at Akol. Nope, 2007, not playing right now. Fleece HD. Commentator's curse, that's right. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. This is Douglas, or Douglas Fleecehauer, to give him his Dutch name. I think he's just English, actually, but uh, he's really got a very Dutch name. Does sound Dutch. So um, it's amazing how, when I learned Dutch, um, my whole <laughs> my whole view of chess history changed, really, because uh, you know, instead of um, uh, instead of having uh, instead of uh, going to which Kanzi, I went to Vai Kanze, you know, <laughs> and uh, stuff like Why that. G four, I think. Yeah, G four, but G four is fine. Okay. Not this is a bit risky though. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't need to uh, to give away the piece really like that. Um ooh, dear bishop c6. I think our jinxing is uh, is working. Yeah, we have today. jinxed a bit on this one. It's um no, I've got to watch out because knight e5 is a possible. Um but okay, well, you can go queen d5 check, so. Uh... And f4, hmm. Uh, knight takes b4 is rather annoying. Oh gosh, yes. All right, um, I, I think we've jinxed another person. We must yeah, be winning quite a lot of games because we're in the lead. It's just we're picking the <laughs> Your standard of chess drops when your takeaway dinner arrives. Well, it's just with those, uh, those spare ribs, you know, it's hard to uh, hard to, hard not to make the key sticky at some stage. Woodpusher has harnessed his inner key Tharkle and is now exchanging off queens. Yes, and Solaris Eternal Sun is twenty five seventy seven. So High Raiders has berserked against Woodpusher. He will not live to regret that. <laughs> So but this is quite a nice position for black, actually. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, these sort of positions where, um, uh, you know, you've got your bishop on g2, which is not really very useful. It would be much better on e2, uh, covering c4 and, uh, wow, woodpusher, going for it. This is really weakening, though. Knight d3 now is going to be horrible. 
they're quite just quite difficult these positions and the c file is opened and you're a bit behind in development so um indeed wood pusher is pushing wood indeed but um uh it's a little bit worrying i mean bishop e2 even straight away is a is a threat here um I wonder about. Oh, you can that. take on C1 and B2. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take on B2 immediately. I wonder about, yeah. Oh, I think maybe we could have done that a little bit. A little bit. Uh, you're going at knight A5 now, so it's not so bad. I think you could have done that a, a lot better than. Um, but okay. <coughs> King G2. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. Um, so after knight B7, we've got rook B8. So you should probably go knight C4. And then now, that's quite clever. Having brought the king round to g2, it might have been better to go king h1, but uh, you're going to have... Um, oh, oh, I would have gone rook f2 there or something. Um, this is a little bit risky, but okay, it's not so bad. Rook h2, we go rook b7. And it's quite hard to defend the e7 pawn, so black's got to go... Yeah, back. white's got a very active king here. Can go, like, maybe... I was going to say e5. You can't do it. Oh, we suppose you still can. Yeah, yeah, that's quite a good idea. King e5. D6. Can you do it? Uh, maybe waiting's quite a nice idea. I think really because then you get rook b. If if the rook moves, you get rook b7 and d6. So you know, let's just. Oh, uh, white's good for the draw. To be honest, that might, that might motivate him even more. Would push her. I'd be careful with those drawers. Yeah, to be honest, it is quite uh, it's a decent draw offer here. Yeah. Um, G6 and back to B6. Um, all right. We just, I mean, we can just go King E6, King E5. I mean, there's no um, food and commentary. What if you lose a few games? That's a serious <laughs> Giganta Bear. You won't, Giganta Bear. Hi, go Jetta. Go, Jetta, play game. Yay. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Woodpusher. Well done, Woodpusher. Surviving okay. after looking. Oh, we're into the top was so close. Look. Um, five the points seven. are great. Five First points covering the top seven. seven. And even, 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 even uh, somebody in the relegation zone isn't out of it, really, with 52 points. So, uh, my goodness me. This is a toughie. Uh, David English Wilson. Players, go oh, your goodness me. Uh, this one looks oh, difficult. Come on, David Wilson. You're going to need to. Oh, no, I don't I tell so. you what. Um, I'm not picking the right games, am I? <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> All right. The, uh, the opponent berserked and, uh, and uh, yeah, no. Let's see. Good. Let's see Atomrod. Against Speedy Gonzalez. But Atomrod is the Speedy Gonzalez because Atomrod has berserked. Indeed, I wonder what happened in uh, Keith's previous game. Actually, did he manage to uh, did he manage to to hold that one? Let me have a quick look. Yeah, quick look. Atom Rod, uh, because he was a piece down in an ending for no compensation. He was, so he would have done well to win that. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not getting his results somehow. Uh, oh, because I was thinking it maybe wasn't Atom Rod. What do you think? I'm going to just see what opening. Knight f3, e4. Is Atomrod trying? If it's Atomrod, it is him trying completely different openings. Yeah, it's looking a bit odd what he's doing. This it's isn't Atomrod, is it? It's someone I, I, else. I, I wouldn't have guessed that it was Keith uh, playing. Oh, right. knight e7. Knight e7 In check. In we go, knight e7. If Keith, no, nah, yeah. Knight e7 check. Okay. Yes. If he doesn't play knight e7, then it's definitely not Keith, but uh, fair enough. Okay, very good, Atomrod. Um, okay, back into the lead, and let's see, Akol, 2007. That presumably means he was born in 2007. Yeah, and presumably means he plays Akol. What and is Akol? Bridge. It's a bridge system. Oh, okay. England juniors, Sussex, England juniors under 14, so it's a junior. It uh, like it's already. Have I? Messed up like the, an, an Italian game, I think. I think I've messed up the... Oh, no, there we go. You can still see the game. That's good. Oh, Knight takes F5 would have been... Gosh, good. look at Black's pieces. They're all... Under 12, go Jetta. Well done. Yeah. I saw you the other day, go Jetta, in the Mind Sports Olympiad. Let's 
So and your brother won a medal, I think. So well done, Go Jetta's brother. And well done, Go Jetta, of course. Bishop C5, this is looking quite good from A call. 2265, that's a good rating. So um a good one as well to, to cover to cover um uh, the F2 square there. So um Go Jetta, I'm I'm really not gonna do creative thinking. I tried it last year. Uh, so the creative thin thinking in the Mind Sports Olympiad, it's a very interesting competition. You have to kind of write creatively about objects, or they might say, uh, but anyway, so it's run by Bill Hartston. Um, and he always thinks of all these interesting questions. But last time I, I I did it, he asked this like question about Brexit and the the backstop or something. But I didn't know enough about the actual. Um, embarrassing. I didn't know enough about the actual political situation to be able to sensibly tackle the question. And so I sort of uh, I had to ask him what was the thing about the. Oh, you you were asked about COVID. You see, I would have known about COVID. Yeah, but you have to come up with all this creative stuff about it. Yeah, because he because he oh. actually gets his creative thinking people to solve all the problems of the world, which is a good idea. Ooh, knight g four is quite. Uh... <laughs> knight g four would have been quite nasty, or quite interesting anyway. I think possibly rook e six check was uh, was winning, but. Um... Um, I think rookie six check would probably be quite nice still here. Um, do we have quite good chances of making this work? Yeah, this is looking good for Ackle. So it takes, queen takes, king c7. I was expecting there to be something extraordinarily good now. We can um, take the rook. Okay. King c7. A uh, king c7. Sorry, I was looking at king a7. I, I would really love to have a discovered attack, some uh, a queen move somewhere, followed by knight e6 takes f4. But it's not so easy to find one. Um, yeah, I think the, are we probably going to go queen e7 check and something like knight c6? That could be possible. That wouldn't be absolutely crazy. Uh, playing it safe there, he's going to take the pawn on d3. Oh, no, nice. very <laughs> nice. That was the way to do it. That he's done it, he found it. it. He found it well played. Yeah, what's the way to do it? B6. That ackle is pretty strong. Yeah, oh, we're in third place now, all of a sudden. Oh gosh! Behind but this be a win. and Mercatile community, and the Psycho Chickens are in eighth. Okay. But you know what it is about Psycho Chickens; they're always most dangerous at the end. Is that right? Oh, it does seem to be, doesn't it? Yeah, they came. They came through at the end uh, last time. So, mm. um, okay. Well done, Ackle. Very nice. Well done, Ackle. We needed those points. Oh, all of a sudden, Jackie Mate is. Uh, it's got a six point lead. Gosh. So uh, we need to. Okay. Uh... Uh, right. Who didn't we see? Are we in Ocelot yet, have we? Let's. Oh, let's correct that. Let's see Ocelot. 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 We need a fanfare for Ocelot. Well mm. done, Go Jetta. Uh, Keith is not sober. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> Fair that enough. Makes sense then. I still think it's someone different, though. I don't think it's Keith drunk. I think it's someone different. <laughs> I will never know. Even drunk, surely Keith's first reaction will then be to uh, to. He'd swap still queens. exchange coins, wouldn't he? However much he had to drink, he'd still exchange coins. So Ocelot is a pawn up with a pretty good position. <laughs> yeah, I'd, um, I'd, uh, I saw, I saw the chat as well. <laughs> oh, dear. now there's a bishop loose on uh, d3. There's a bishop loose on d3 there. So, uh, no, okay, the opponent has seen it. That's a good solid move from Ocelot. Whack. 
Excellent. Starting to look quite good now for Ocelot. Uh, nicely under control. Yeah, Queen D5 attacking G2. Absolutely right, Gojeta. If it was Keith, he'd be heading for the end games. So, pulled up now. So, um, uh, yeah, still quite a lot of work to do. I mean, it's not uh, hardly trivial, but um, uh, yeah, it's good to be a pawn up. Mm. Oh, that is, and, uh, and that was a bit slightly maybe incautious for that move, that last one, because knight f5 is a bit annoying with, um, uh, yeah. Could be oh, a yeah, because if you try and go rookie, rook, if you move the rook off the e file, there's this knight e7. Indeed. And we've also got a, a little knight f6 check as a possibility as well. So rook e6. That's, we've that's still got knight e7 nice. if we want to. Indeed. It's a bit unfortunate for us. It was a clever <laughs> idea, Rook E6, but um, uh, allowing that fork. It's not lost, lost, but um, obviously allowing the Rook onto E7 is, um, is is rather difficult. Ooh, clever. I suppose White could take on B7 if he wanted to. Yeah, there were a few possibilities there. This is quite a good one, though, uh, um, looking for Rook E8. Now, bishop c4 is going to be very strong, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. So now, just to say, we'll say at this stage, we are back on tomorrow morning because um, we are going to commentate on the Wood Green Invitational tournament Indeed. that's happening at the moment. Um, so that'll be round, what we'll be up to, round, round two, two isn't it? Yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Be there or be square. And so it's players like Hebs and Matthew Turner, Ravi Harrier and Marcus Harvey and Jonah Willow and many more. Yeah, quite a lovely field, actually. Yeah. Uh, promising juniors or young players, rather. Some old, old foxes. And everything in between as well. So, um, yeah. It's a bit tricky for Ocelot here, I think. It is a bit, but he's not getting mated immediately, and that's always nope. possible. So, um, in the Blitz tournament, you can that's you can you can keep on going with that. So, look, English chess players in third place. It looks like the, the first three are drawing away slightly from the rest. David Wilson leading the way. So... Um, Bishop d3. This is fine. Just uh, back to h5. No worries. Or even take on a2 if you want to be particularly brave. Come on. Come on, Ocelot. Queen C2. Hmm. I kind of feel like we can get this knight in now, can't we? Knight D5, knight F4, maybe? Yeah, I mean, there's always something like rookie 5 but you can definitely try a few things. Queen H4 is quite sneaky, isn't it? Maybe looking for, uh, I don't know, knight G4, knight H5 sometime. Yeah, I can see them. <laughs> Keith and David talking about the pub. It seems, it seems like Keith is actually in a pub at the moment. That's what I... Uh, what ah, I maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. Keith's probably been in a pub ever since he won the British Championship. He's probably still celebrating, and rightly so. Well done, Gojeta. That's what we like to see. Very good. So Knight's coming into F4. That's quite good. Uh, White's got to be uh, White's looked a lot less confident in the uh, conversion phase here. So um, knight f4 now is quite a nice move. Could also try a queen d4 check just to to be annoying. Well, you've got to start to get a few threats now. You know, you can start thinking of stuff like bishop takes f3 or uh, knight h3 check or. Uh, Knight takes g2, you know, that sort of stuff. So, uh, 
The big problem is that your back rank's a bit weak. So uh, a lot of these tricks yeah. uh, that otherwise might work, um, they, um, yeah, they're a little bit difficult. But, um, but well, Queen G5 can also be a little threat. Setting up a little Knight H3 check discovered. Ah, oh, that would probably be quite... Be quite yeah, Queen G5, yeah. Queen G5, uh, threatening Bishop F3. Then we'll have a look to see what, um, what, uh, what White can do there. Oh, Played by Ocelot. Ocelot going for it. Got to watch out for his time. They're both inside their last minute there, so uh, it's going to be a bit thrilling. Ocelot uh, playing a higher rated player there. Oh! oh! You've got it. You've got it. Knight oh! H3. Ocelot. Blitz out. Ocelot. Ocelot. <laughs> God save our Ocelot. Well done, Ocelot. Let's just finish this off now. I think white is non jinx, non jinx. Queen D2. The queen. Come on, Ocelot. Yeah. And Queen, queen F2, F2 mate. Checkmate or Bishop B5. Yay! Very nice. Well played. The reverse Ocelot. jinx. There we are. There Excellent. we go. Well done. Okay. Ocelot. So now let's check in on Jensen. Jensen. So Jensen's playing a much higher rated player um, who has jinxed against him. Uh, he has, but yeah, he has berserked. Uh, it's looking quite tricky though for Jensen. He's doing well, keeping his time moving. That's, uh, but uh, yeah, it could be a little bit. Oh, we need to take that pawn a three really. Um, now we've got past pawns on both sides. We win chess place in third place, but we're looking good okay. because we're sixteen points clear of um, of. Uh, a fourth, so um, it's looking quite good. Although this position, unfortunately, is uh, this is difficult. Well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we'll switch games there. Um, so let's. Who did we not see? Um, chess Wizkid. No, not playing. Nigel. S ah, Nigel St is playing. Let's see Nigel St. Nah. Just this five minute, um, this five minute uh, time control is a little bit, uh, a little bit long, really. Yeah. So this league, they um, they've got the three different time controls. So there's three plus two, three plus zero, and five plus zero, and um, and it, it it alternates between all of those. B five was winning a piece, wasn't it? Sorry, I was uh, had my mouth full, but uh... yeah. After knight c4, bishop uh, b5 simply won a piece, I think. Oh. Uh, queen e8 is now necessary. Nigel will find it. He's found it. He has found it. We will rebuild him. <laughs> Ooh, queen a7 now, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, not quite sure. Bishop g3, maybe? Did you see Hebs won today? Oh, I didn't see that. Who did he beat? He beat Matthew Turner. Wow. Excellent result. Well played, Mark. So, um, oh, I think that's... Uh, that's uh, probably one of Mark's uh, best results for, uh, for a while, I think. Uh, just... Uh, He's uh, obviously I haven't seen him play uh, over the board. Is it over the board tournament, isn't it? Uh, the, the Wood Green or uh, or is it online? It must be. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must be. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm yeah. just thinking. I, I don't actually know that for sure, but it must be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, probably enjoying it again because I think he. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah. I think he's, he's yeah, much more nice. thing than uh, than online. I think uh, for Keith, for uh, Mark rather. So uh, excellent. Oh, Bishop F three, Nigel S T. Being a bit sneaky there. I think, yeah, I mean, rook e7 would be quite a good one. Rook c7 is a little bit odd. So I suppose you can take that and then take on e4. Yeah, you could do that. I think it was something like queen a4, but um, probably just go a3. It's a bit hard to, uh, to find a way through. Queen a8, that is a very nice move, Nigel ST. 
hitting e4 and a2 that is much better all of a sudden white has to be careful okay um uh, rookie eight is, is even rookie eight is not so silly but queen a2 is the uh, the obvious one so i mean white does have bishop f1 to uh, to cover it is true but i think um uh let's have a think could we do something clever here not so easy i mean at least we could go queen e4 simply and just uh, have some play here we're threatening bishop d3 but um obviously why it's just in time with uh with queen c4 there's going to be two pawns two bishops and two pawns versus rook and knight ah is that what you've got at the moment gigantica should we switch? Let's we hop across. Oh, we could have a look at Giganta there. All this right. Nice Good luck, and, uh... Uh, okay. So Giganta there. Ah, it's finished. I've got Let a, I've got me... a... Safe new record. Oh, is this the same player? Yes, I think it's the same player we saw. Um, safety record. Oh, yeah, he's he's uh, berserking all the time. Is he? Uh, has he got a good score? Um, where is he in the? Uh, no, he hasn't got a. Hasn't got an amazing score. Looks like. Um, he's. Uh, yeah, he's. Um, I think he's berserked a lot, but he's uh, he's lost uh, two games and uh, drawn a few as well. So. Uh, okay. Oh, this is quite nasty for um, for black in principle. A huge center for uh, for white, very solid. And a, big square on that as well, C5. and a big square on uh, on uh, on F6, of course. C5 is uh, is decent indeed, um, but um, yeah, even after the exchange of pawns on D4, it's obviously helped uh, black a little bit in comparison. But yeah, still uh, a lot of. Uh, a lot of good squares for uh, for the white pieces. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what should uh, what should black do. I think you've just got to just got to try and play sensible moves and play them reasonably quickly. This is not uh, it's not silly, I think, to uh, to try and swap off the. Um, Would the you rook. sack on d6? Well, I, I'd take on d4 first probably oh then rook takes d4 oh, sorry i was thinking rook d6 but it's not really uh um um b5 now queen c5 uh pinning that's quite good yeah but we're gonna i mean we could try g5 that's a little bit risky but um could be an idea yeah just to, uh, to get the e5 pawn but uh yeah, probably with white, I'd, I'd go h4 now just to make sure that's uh, solid. Could consider f6 as well for uh, for black, just to try and... Uh, you have to watch out for something like knight e4. It's always the problem with these, that um, all the all the breaks that you make, you know, they always end up favouring white somehow. Oh, knight b7. Yeah. How does that work? That's... That just no, works. That just works. Oh, you can do two rooks for the queen. Yeah, you might... Or can you? Or can you? No, we'll go C takes D4. Okay, Rook takes D4 is even stronger, indeed. Oh, dear. I think we've jinxed again. Yeah. It's what we do. Yes, we everyone, knows, everyone knows the danger of... Um... You no, know, yes. You know before you join, you might get jinxed. All right. Let's see how we're doing. We are in second still. Um, let's check in on... Well, Abereshi. All oh, right. Abereshi. Abereshi. 23.37, another good rating. And uh, playing Siku, who we've seen before, I think. Um, so I guess knight c4 here, maybe. Chance to pick up uh, an a pawn. Quite tricky, quite tricky uh, to win this. We need some uh, some technique and maybe a bit of luck as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> I'm 
Let's see if I'm not going to be easy this one. Uh, We've got an outside pawn. Yeah, it's just that the um, uh, we've got, obviously the king's covering it, and uh, yeah, the pawn on a six is um, uh, is quite yeah. uh, quite weak somehow. A five would probably go c three now. That would probably be the nicest way to do it. And uh, yeah, oh b five. Uh, that's a bit more um, a bit more risky maybe, but it's not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've we've got knight a six as a threat as well, so. Going to be a toughie this one. I'm not. I wouldn't. So White uh, has a minute to finish this off. Yeah, that's the, that's a big positive point, of course. Maybe you should go knight b6 and just, uh, yeah, or something like this. Indeed, just uh, try and assist with your king. Oh yeah, king, king d6. There's knight b7 check. That's the problem. Yeah. So, um, yeah, knight c2, but yeah, we can take a5. It, nah, I get the feeling that a lot of pawns are going to get exchanged now. Yeah, but I won't mind that. Well, just if you wanted to win it with black, that would uh, kind of... Ooh, uh, right, we're going for the win. Oh, knight b7 was possible as well, and uh, knight c4 here. Okay, I think we're getting some, uh, going to get some liquidation now, I think. Yeah, knight d7 for white is and knight d3. Okay, it's white. White's not playing for win, is he? King b5, simply. Okay. Would have been easier maybe just to swap off the b pawn for the c pawn, but. Uh, yeah. This looks like it should be a draw. They like knight d4 or something to stop that. Yeah, king d5, knight d4. It's uh, it's a total draw, really. But uh, just a time situation, you never know. True. Hmm. Oh, 96 would have been just a little bit quicker. Oh, King B4 would have done this too. Right, looks like it's going to happen. It's going to be a draw. Okay, very good. So, oh, we're down to third. Let's. Uh, see. We're looking quite uh, quite decent, aren't we, with the uh, with the old uh, twenty points difference? Okay, CMGRL against GM Ag. GM Ag, wow. Yep. So Queen A5 and B5 feels a little bit odd. Ag from Argentina. Who might Ag be from Argentina? Ooh, there's a few. Ah, guys. Alfredo Giaccio. Do you know him? No, I don't know him. It's, um, oh, this is rather bad, actually. Uh, we've got a good old Queen E4 coming in. Hmm. Well, maybe you can go Knight D7. Uh, it's conceivable because you'd have a maybe Queen B6 and Bishop B7 after. But yeah, that was very uh, that was very risky. So Knight D5 is the safe line, but um, feels a little bit. Um, Bishop H6. That's probably quite uh, decent. I don't think you really want to go. You don't really want to go rookie eight. That looks a bit suicidal, really. So, uh, yeah, I think you've got to sacrifice the exchange and just uh, just be happy with it. Okay, uh, queen c seven. It's not so bad for uh, for black. With exchange down, but you've got some play at least. Maybe maybe a play to a5, I would have thought. It would have been so silly, but uh, this is maybe a bit careless. We had bishop d4. So again to bear says, why is queen e4 good and old? Wow, you see this in, way in loads of books, haven't you? Always the, the old queen e4, forking a8 and h7. <laughs> Because actually, I just looked him up, Giaccio, 
uh, was actually born in 1970. Okay, he's older than me. Yeah, so I'm um, so I'm surprised you don't know him. Yeah, <laughs> there are many people in the world I don't know. It's um, no, never. Uh, I mean, I, I played in Argentina in 1990 something, and um, yeah, met a few of the of the. Uh, there was a Smetzan and um, uh, Zarniki. Uh, I remember of the um, of the um, Argentinian GMs. Um, and who else was there? There was a few more whose names unfortunately I've forgotten, but uh, um, not this guy. Mm. Oh, we've got an old Rook F7 coming up. <laughs> good old Rook F7. A good old Rook F7 coming up. So it's going to be very dangerous very soon. I don't know whether it's immediately because Rook F7, I can go Rook F7, Queen G6, King F8. Doesn't feel like it should work, but um, uh, Queen H6 check, and then I, I can probably even run away with some vague degree of success. So, um, not quite sure. Looks very risky what, uh, pardon me, what Black has done, but uh, I mean, I might be able to go, just go B3, and after Bishop B3, go Rook F1 and really tee up with the old Rook F7. That might be. Um, Ah, right. Trying to force that queen out of the way. Okay. Ooh. So now, now would, you go, would you take it? You probably would. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Queen C7. I would probably have taken it, I think. That would that look quite, uh, look pretty good, really. Ooh. Okie dokie. I mean, we could... Uh, we could conceivably take an F6. Queen D8 could also be uh, quite quite nice. Just to try and kick away that uh, that rook from F6. Mm -hmm. Go rook F1, probably. That's the, uh, the slight problem. Um, it might be better to go bishop F6 and just uh, force him out to take with a piece. Oh, you berserked to 2,500. You beat a 2,500 berserker. Well done, Giganto mm -hmm. there. Don't approve at all of people who berserk. There we are, beating a 2500 berserker up in the air, several stories <laughs> high. Da, 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 giganto bear. Dun, 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 dun. So, um, There's a movie, isn't there, Godzilla? Yes. I always watch the cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon. That's the one I saw of, uh, as well. Yeah, come on, take on G2. I have to watch the film sometime. Um, yeah, Bishop takes G6 is, is gradually getting more and more alarming. Yeah. Uh, Bishop E4 would be kind of what you desperately want. You have want to, do to do it, really, don't you? It's just we've got a little old Queen D8 check. Uh, but I guess King G7. We're probably still alive. Still alive. Whoa! Going for tricks. That's very strong, actually. Bishop D3, Rook H4. Yeah. Oh, we have jinxed. We have jinxed. Well, not really jinxed, because he's playing a stronger player, of course. So uh, I think we'll um, we won't claim that for uh, for our jinxing score. No. Uh nothing to be done though nothing to be done not that i can see okay all right how are we doing we are in third yeah, so mergtal community has run away Giacomate is ahead and all schwetzer high is not so far away just 27 minutes to go yeah. could be a close one could be a close one lively lemon no not playing right now um mike bear no um Alice Fox, no. Delacorte, no. All right, I'm going to go back up to Ackle. Let's see Ackle again. Have a look at Ackle. Nice, <laughs> black. Nothing uh, particularly uh, 
Amazing for white, nothing for, for black. Uh, playing against 2456. Oh, I tell you what, I've worked out who Akol is. Aha. Well, uh, it's a guess, but a call is, it must be Arjun Kalani, must Lani. it? Kalani. Ah. That'll be right. Because right, he's the right sort of strength as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's a good, uh, he's a very good player. So, um, very nice. Well done, Detective Inspector Regan. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Natasha, Natasha, da, 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 You probably didn't even recognize that. It's uh, Poirot, so Hercule Poirot that used to be on uh, TV. Mm. Do you ever watch that? Are you an Agatha Christie fan? I used to read all, oh, Agatha I Christie. Read, but, I have read it all. But I've not watched so much from telly. I, was, I did a lot of Actually, reading. David, David Suchet as, um, as Poirot was really excellent. There were very many different Miss Marples as well. There was the very old, fragile one who was fantastic. Is Miss, Miss Marples not Agatha Christie? Of course it is. Is it? Okay. You can trust me. Okay. So, um, I've read all of Conan Doyle as well, actually. Mm. So, uh, and actually, yeah, funnily enough, um, uh, wait a minute, oh, I always get the, the name of this uh, author wrong. So just let me have a. Uh, oh, Ian Banks, that's all. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Ian Banks was uh, who um, Demis recommended. That's right. Yeah, I, I actually read um, uh, read all of his um all of his books, actually, just uh, on that recommendation, and then um, um, gave them to my nephew, uh, Johannes, my oldest nephew, who loved them as well. Although he did say that a lot of them were very depressing and a lot of people died, which um, oh. uh, is true. Uh, and then funnily enough, um, um, the builder who came around to do work at my brother's place was listening to Ian Banks' uh, uh, Consider Philibus on um, uh, as an ebook, well, as a yeah. as a, um, um, an audio book, as um, yeah, the culture <laughs> novel. That's right, Giganto there. The games player is absolutely super. Yes, I've it read that one too. Absolutely amazing. I think it's uh, it's wonderful. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hadn't really hadn't read uh, you know sort of novels or anything like that. Uh, it's the only one I like. The, the oh, that reminded me of, um, I'll tell you, have you ever read any Peter Aykroyd? Someone reminded no. me of him recently. He does like historical novels and he did this one historical novel in, in about London and it was really good. Okay, no, I, haven't, uh, I haven't read that. It's, it's um, a too much twisty plot. Yeah, the plots are pretty twisty. It's, uh, that is true, uh, Giganto Bear. But the games player was superb. I, I really, oh, I love that one. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It's um English chess players in third. Oh my goodness, and getting caught up by Srihet Sahar. Uh oh. Come on, English chess players. Come on, Akko. <coughs> uh Ender's game. Uh yeah, I've read that. I have read that. Ninety four. Ninety five, even better. <laughs> oh, because he's going to get this fork on D one as well. We need it. We need it. Come on, Akon. Oh, the J check would have been really good there. Would want a piece. Uh, uh, still do it. Still be, yeah, I'll still be very strong. He's going to get this. Oh, well, he hasn't got much time, has he? Ooh. It's playing against 2450 as well. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tricky. G6. 
I mean, Ariane's a very strong player. The only thing is he, he's uh, sometimes uh, a little bit on the... Oh, that's a good move. Over at D3, he's a little bit on the... Um, uh, he's not, not on the slow side, but, he, but he's, uh, he's always in time trouble. You know, uh, he's a fantastic time trouble player. But, uh, oh, well done, Gigantobear. That's what you need. He might make it though. He's a he junior. should make it, shouldn't he? He's a junior. He's he's uh, uh, rookie one, rookie two. That's how we do it. Yeah. yeah, we can't lose. And now we queen. Twenty-two seconds. Very well good. done, Akol. Okay. Because it's so, because you are giganto bear. It never shows you as playing. Let's see, David Wilson. David Wilson is on the streak playing against Chess Mood Doctor. My goodness. We've seen Chess Moon Doctor before, haven't we? Yes, I definitely. The, I remember the name. We're in third place, but we're um we're keeping a good distance from Syed Sahar, but it's gonna go it's gonna go right to the wire. So David Wilson. Oh so, has... yes, if we stick in third, we're up to division four on Sunday night. Indeed. Which will be um, what comes next? Three plus. I don't know whether it's three plus two or three plus zero. I haven't quite got the order yet. Hmm, this is not looking great. Oh, Matthew's tactic series on Chess 24. Thank you, Peso. That's a long time ago I did that one. I think 2010, maybe. Something like that. So um, all recorded in one weekend in uh, in a studio in Frankfurt. It's uh, when I start talking, I talk a lot and very fast. So, oh, 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 David Wilson, this is really risky. Um, oh, chess mood doctor is not doing much for the English mood. Hmm. Um, I think so. I, I do try and uh, I do try and uh, you know with my comments. I do just try and explain how I thought during the game, even if it wasn't perfect. Um, I wouldn't say I always think in the same way all the time, but um, but yeah, you know, with uh, with the stuff I do, I do try and uh, it's meant to be honest, you know, about uh, just how I think, and uh, it's. Uh, A very long time ago, my goodness. It was very nice actually. I, I um so I went to uh, to Frankfurt and uh, met up with um now a good friend uh, really uh, um Rustam Kazimjanov, so uh, former world champion and uh, yeah, a long time um long time uh, uh, a teammate of mine for um uh, Solingen in Germany and uh, he he'd started working for Chess 24, so um yeah, it was just a very nice uh, just a really nice uh, time just um, uh, recording, you know, in the studio for about eight hours, uh, you know, in the dark, just talking, uh, saying what, what I wanted with no one to interrupt me. And then uh, after this in the evening, having a meal with him and uh, chatting, always got on very well. So um, that was really nice. So uh, unfortunately, I turned up with all the wrong clothes because uh, I turned up with all this sort of clothes with squares on them, which are apparently the absolute worst for... Um, uh, for TV, so um, um, but as he said, we'll, we have a man who will fix that. Was were his comments? Yeah. For more or less everything. So um... presumably, <laughs> just by changing your jumper rather than by no, no, no. I didn't have anything else. I mean, I was in Germany, so I'd I'd, I'd come with a, a nice selection of clothes, all of which had squares on them. So um, he said, "Oh well, we'll fix that." I looked at it; it didn't look too bad. Okay, just 18 minutes left. We are... Oh, no, we're down to fourth. Ah, uh, should I try and... Well, no, I'm not going to be a scorer, am you I? Can, uh, you can try. No, but I'm not going to end up scoring. I don't think like, you, you won't make the scorers, I think, at this stage because of the... Yeah, it takes so long to uh, to do it. I should have done it earlier. Curses. I was thinking that we were in great... Oh, we're back into third. Oh, it's going to be okay. a ding-dong battle, isn't it? It is going to be... Come on, England. Come on, Atom Rod. Let's berserk and grind out these wins. All right. Just checking in quickly on Drac Pete, who has a nice diagonal he's aiming for, maybe. 
He's in 26th place, drag beat. So I don't think he's, he's not going to. It's not going to help for the scoring this one. Yeah, they've done some nice things with uh, with chess. Absolutely. Ooh, this be school maybe would be a good be a good one there. Feels like a good move. Bishop F7 would also be very solid. But Bishop E4 feels like it has a very good chance of winning something. Nah. Rook G5. F8 queen. Bishop F8. Bishop F8, rook takes, and you can put the rook back in the way. Indeed. The rook comes back. All right. To G8. I'm going to do my first arrow. Oh. Oh, good arrows. lord! Look at any arrows today. English chess players: one five three, Giacomate, one five three, Svetshahar, one five two. Three teams fighting for the for, oh. uh, for one for two qualification places. Good lord! This yeah, one so. should be a win this for Pete, and winning. he has one. Okay. Come on, Giganto Bear. Next. Again to bed playing? No. Okay. Um, David Wilson. Uh, my right. chef, no. Rob, no. People aren't playing. Safety records. Abreshi. That's got lots of pawns coming in. That's looking pretty good, really. Yes. Let's have a look. 1535. English chess players. Oh, three points clear of Giacomate. Actually, Giacomate will be a little bit upset because they've been in second place all the way and now all of a sudden mm. in fourth out of the qualification. Place. Oh, this is nice too. This is looking pretty good now. A rookie eight would be quite a good move here. Just get that rook nice and active. Then we can play the rook to c8 and everything's creaking for white. Ah, oh, okay. Um, D3 check. D3, D3 check. check. D3, yeah. D3, D3. Excellent. Well done, Abareshi. Okay. Big point. Excellent. So... English chess player. Go back is in the Let's see Gigantobear. We haven't seen Gigantobear yet. Come on, Gigantobear. I'm playing against Solaris Eternal Sun, who's berserking again. This is the same person, Solaris Eternal Sun. Yes, Solaris Eternal Sun. He's playing a lot of games at Solaris Eternal Sun. But he's losing a lot as well. Uh, because where is he in the places? Oh, he's in the uh, eighth place. Okay. But, um, he's on a he's on a on a streak there, but he's lost uh, he's lost uh, three games so far, and drawn quite a few as well. Which, uh, well, considering his rating, is uh, maybe slightly below par. Could you go knight c six? Hmm, that could have been. I suppose rook c eight is. Uh, is always the uh, the thing that's happening there. B four, oh B four, that's quite pleasant. We get a nice square on C four for our knight. Knight C six even. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Queen C six. We're going Queen G four. Queen G four. Uh, Bishop F eight or something is quite safe for um, for uh, for Black. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Little bit of an edge for uh, for black here, just uh, kind of uh, maybe black. black is up against Gigantobear, indeed. Oh, that's uh, risky, that's risky. Gigantobear, King H2. Ooh. Oh, that's nasty. Queen D4 now. Oh, Gigantobear, uh... probably best, yeah. This probably is a jinxing. <laughs> this is definitely a jinxing. Well, although Black's 25-70, so I mean, uh, that's, true. that's very strong there. But um, uh, at least Solaris is not um, is not part of the top team. So, uh, But at the moment at the top, it's 160. Sorry, Giganto Bear. It's 162, 162, 160. It's very close. <laughs> oh, Come that's... on. Come on, everyone. We need a huge effort here. This isn't over yet, this game. We believe in Giganto Bear. We definitely do. 
So we, at least uh, a lot of our players are playing at the moment. So that's looking uh, that's, that's good at least. We, uh, we need that. Um, we've got some promising positions as well. So we, cause we really need a nice bulk of points coming in the next five minutes, really. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 yeah, it's yeah. probably a good idea, and then you can you, you've got a chance for one more game before the end. Okay, I'd like John. Giganto Bear. Yeah, let's just play. It's a, it's a good decision, uh, Giganto Bear. It's the right decision. Eleven minutes left. Yeah, um, absolutely. Let's see, safe new record. Oh, against yeah. GM Ag, who is the? No, that's not the Argentinian GM, is it? It is. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. No, no tournaments uh, recently, uh, Peso. You never know. Maybe next year, when uh, when everything's uh, easier and quieter, I would like to play uh, to play a tournament again. I have to say, you know, prepare properly and uh, enjoy it. I would like would like it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, how it all fits in with family and uh, and all those sort of other commitments as well. But um, but whilst we're waiting, commentating's not bad either. Because you always look cleverer when you're commentating than when you're playing. It's, uh, it's having a look at, uh, at some scores. Cage Swampy is doing quite well. Woodpushers Woodpushers was doing very well, but he's uh, even dropped out. Uh, he's not even scoring now. He's not playing at the moment. So, um, but we've got lots of players playing at the top at the moment. So uh, only David Wilson hasn't got a game. So. Um, Ah, safe new record playing very sensibly there. Got a nice time advantage as well. This is good. This is just what the um just what uh, eight, maybe. Um oh, no, queen. Oh, no. There's no, uh, no, you're covered, you're covered. The queen d eight, I think you go bishop f six actually. So um uh oh no, no, sorry, queen d eight, uh, king f seven rather than bishop f six. Sorry, then bishop f six. So uh well that's quite an ambitious move from uh from white, but uh, not bad. Taken and put our pin. Queen d8 check feels vaguely interesting. But I guess you'll just go king h7. Um, bishop b5, maybe. It's actually slightly awkward. So if queen c8 will go bishop c4, that's the idea, you know, and, uh, and you're just attacking that one. That is actually slightly awkward. Queen e6 will have queen d8, and you'll, then you'll have to do knight f8. Um, this may be nothing at all, but uh, certainly makes black think, and uh, it's not what you want when you're berserking. You want to have nice, easy play. Ooh, Schwetzer Haas moved up, 170. English chess oh. players, 167. Jacques Maté, 165. With oh. eight minutes and 45 seconds to go. Queen we can just take on d7 here, can't we? I oh, know. Well, I guess we'll go queen b4 then. That's uh, uh, the problem. But do we have something like bishop b6 and queen d8? Yeah. We can definitely try it. Bishop b6 check, king h7, queen d8. We're threatening... Well, we are threatening... You're going to have to go knight f6 or knight e7. You can probably do it, though. Um, queen d8. This is transposes, I guess. I'm guessing, yeah, bishop b6 now, I suppose. And then we're going to go knight f6, I guess. That's not too bad. We're doing uh, we're quite nice and active. So, um, yeah, maybe we just go um, h3, maybe. H3, uh, yeah. Nice, solid move. Yeah, and then just... Uh, cause we, we, whoa, that's risky, that's risky, that's risky. Knight f3. That is super risky, what black has done. Yeah. Oh, Knight takes e5 now. Dun, dun, dun. Knight takes e5. Dun, dun, dun. This is really risky. A mate is not quite clear, but I mean, we can go something like knight. 
knight df3 and then we're threatening knight f7 and knight fg5 so i mean uh, mm. this is really dangerous queen f8 that is a um um knight g well i don't know yeah queen c7 yeah. maybe would be just uh you know just avoid uh, and then you're going knight f3 afterwards i mean really this is this is this is getting massive massive oh, this is and oh gosh and against the grand master of course indeed oh i think we just take and we go knight f3 now uh or you just go knight f3 straight away maybe i mean queen b7 is a decent move yeah sorry this is very difficult for black because we, we've just got knight f3 coming in i think it's just lost and it's also um so difficult to play with 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 uh, having berserked so um wow this could be a big one this could be a so we're in third place now 173, lovely, um, 169 lovely knight f3 now knight i f3. am here knight f3 is a big one you can go knight e4 maybe you're so sort of time now i mean you'll go knight g5 check and swap everything off actually it's just going to be a winning king and pawn ending king g8 wow that's a hell of a move um yeah that's nice and solid i think queen e8 don't we have something like queen b3 queen b3 oh, yeah. i think is really strong here king h8 knight f7 king h7 knight g5 afterwards so uh yeah yeah go go 96 okay still gonna be good nah, it doesn't really matter anymore i mean knight g5 or something uh it's um yeah i mean you're uh we yeah, are 94 queen d5 for example is uh very easy no need to uh to worry wow fantastic we need that because uh jacques Mate has caught up with 169 six g3 easy Knight f4, all good. Queen e8 check, takes e4, lovely. Oh, there we are. Well, well done. played. We needed that. 177. All, all of a sudden, we seem to have got a couple of wins in no time. And we've okay. jumped uh, We've jumped ahead of uh, Schwetzerhaar into second place. And Jacques Mate is, 11, is uh, 12 points behind us with four minutes to go. So right, who is still playing? Play. Giganto Bear still playing. Atomrod. Let's see Atomrod. Akol not playing. David Wilson not playing. GRL not playing. Safe New Record obviously not playing. Atomrod playing. Arbreshi not playing. My Chess not playing. Oh, we haven't got many points to come now. Oh, dear me. And oh, Atomrod has lost to Roger Chessmood this evening. So let's see. Mm, Atomrod is either not Atomrod or is in the pub or both. He's exchanged down. Mm, not looking so good. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, if the king moves over to d7, we've got maybe g4 to play Bishop f5 check. So that could be. Uh, that could be a game right. changer two. Are we going to do game changer two, Matthew? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Game changer one was pretty cool, really. It was very good. It's uh, let's have a look. Oh, Jacomate creeping up 171. God, they're top players, got 55 points. My goodness, is he playing again? Because that would be worrying. Oh, he's playing again. Oh, he's not going to make it though. The, the other guy hasn't berserked, so I, I can't believe he'll make it. Um, 188 English chess player, Shwet Shahar. 180 and Jacques Mate 171. So we're looking good, but we need. Oh, oh Bishop that's on threes. Bishop takes. Bishop six check was made, by the way. Oh. <laughs> it was. Oh, good. gosh, gosh. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Keith's going to Still win. is, still is. Bishop six made. Well done, well Keith. Done, Keith. That point. That's probably the okay. point. Okay. So we are in second. Uh, two and a half minutes to go. Okay. We must be able. We must be able to keep. We can't. We can't. Uh, lose 18 points in um in one will uh, sonia against horrible sin ah da, 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 it is will sonia da, 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 it is will sonia da, 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 will sonia da, 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 da. will sonia is go 
Were you a Thunderbird, Thunderbirds fan, um, Natasha? And if no, not, not so much. Did you ever hear about Captain Scarlet? No. Captain Scarlet, Captain Scarlet, da, 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 it was Captain Scarlet and the Misterons. If everyone knows, if anyone knows that, well, I think maybe a Pezzo might, because he seems to be my sort of um, my sort of guy for culture. But um, Captain Scarlet and the Misterons was incredible. I introduced it to my Dutch colleagues, and they were amazed. It's um, people; they still talk about it. Actually, <laughs> that was so bad. But, okay. Uh, Five, you can probably get away with. Yes, you can get away with it. It always uh, the, the programs always started with "This is the voice of the Misterons." Ah, classic times. Do, 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 do. A horrible scene. So uh, one 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 minute left. One hundred ninety-one, yeah. one hundred eighty-five, hundred and seventy-six. We've got to make it. Have we got anyone else scoring points? Giganto Bear looks like Giganto Bear is going to end up as top player. Oh, unless David Wilson gets something done. Uh, but I don't, I don't think he's going to get a win within a minute. Uh, Safety Record is playing. Again, I, I'm playing a strong player. I don't think he's going to get anything within three minutes. Um, Atomrod is playing again. Berserking. Again, it's going to be very tight. I don't think we're going to make that. But um, oh, um, G2. Oh, yeah. Wilsonia. Um, Wilsonia. Oh, okay, we Wilsonia. are still in second. Uh, okay, who do we see? Just for the last well, 20 seconds. Gigant Gigant I think you've probably scored more points than other people. That has made you into the top player. No, no one's got a game going. Atomrod, so we're going to see Atomrod. Yeah, he's not going to win this in uh, eight seconds, though. So, but I think we're safe. We're safe in second spot. We will get promoted. <laughs> Thank you, Gigante. But yeah, I thought I thought that was the the comment of the of the whole stream. Really, that was really mm. getting to the core of the matter. There, it's <laughs> <laughs> we've it's finished. Woo! -hoo! Okay, good. So uh, we have got English chess players in second place, promoted up to League Four C for Sunday. And our top players are Giganta Bear on 28, GRL 77 on 27, Safe New Record, um, who's Iron on 26, and we believe Akol is Arjun on 24, David Wilson 24, Atom Rod on 23, Arbareshi 22, and My Chess 19, and lots of other good results as well. We had 28 players today. Brilliant. Um, yeah, finished in second. Very good. Um, thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Please catch us tomorrow at 10 o'clock, isn't yes, it? tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock for the Wood Green Invitational. Be there. Fantastic. Thanks.